Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here, and um, I just wanted to take this time today to talk to you about something that I don't normally chat about, which is like negative stuff. Today I'm going to tell you why I think that a lot of people are not successful with a home-based business. So, you know, a lot of people can go to work, come home, collect a paycheck and they're perfectly successful at that. You know, they can hang on to that job, they can keep that job, they can show up every day, they can put in the work. But it's because they have someone telling them what to do every step of the way. And as a business mentor, I can absolutely help my team succeed, 100%. I can show them the way, I can show them how to get to know people, I can show them how I built my business. There are no secrets with me. I share everything with my team. That's the kind of leader I am, and that's the kind of leader I wanna be. This isn't a competition, it is about everyone getting to the top and holding each other's hands to get there. What I cannot do is the work for them. What I mean by that is I can show them the way, I can show everyone the way. But not everyone is successful because when push comes to shove, not everyone is willing to, to put in the work. People can say they want to do it. They can say how badly they want it. But that old saying, actions speak louder than words, really applies to entrepreneurship. In entrepreneurship, there are so many ups and downs. You know, one day you're on a super, super high because you had an amazing day and a ton of people said yes. And the next day you're on a super, super low because you asked the same amount of people and got zero yeses. Entrepreneurship is about being consistent and putting in the work no matter how many yeses and how many noes you get. In the long term, the more people you speak to, the more yeses you're going to get, even if you have a bad day, right? That's just the law of averages. If you're, if you're doing the work and you're putting in the time, you're going to be successful. But it takes time. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. Um, and if you build this business right, it's going to build slowly. Honestly, if you, if you push and shove and grind your way to the top, sometimes you aren't successful in the long term. If you want to build a successful residual income-based business, you've got to go slow and you've got to be patient and you've got to take those days where you have those downs and make the next day even more amazing than the day that you were down. The worst thing that people can do and the biggest mistake I see people make is stop when they have a failure. They just say, oh, that didn't work for me today, so I'm going to just not do that anymore. Honestly, that just because it didn't work for you that day doesn't mean that you shouldn't try it again, right, if it worked for you another time. So the reason I think that not everyone is successful is because not everyone is willing to put in the work. It's not easy but it's very simple. So if you're willing to get in front of a camera, if you're willing to put yourself out there, if you're willing to build this business, you're going to be successful. If you're not willing to do these things, you aren't going to be successful. And the vast majority of people aren't willing to do these things, and that's why they're not successful. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope those of you who are wondering where you're struggling kind of um, have an idea now of how to proceed. You're welcome to share this out. And for more tips, feel free to check out JillianKaplan.com. Bye.